as a student? Shit. <laughs> Shit. I'm going to ask that one as well. Useless. <laughs> Turns up late. Never on time. Cancels our lessons. Shout out Andy. <laughs> Alright gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. On the fence. I'm on the fence. We don't need to talk about We would. We would. Left hook from Yaounde came and landed on him, you know, so. Right, all good, yeah. Welcome back to the King's Court MMA. We are here back at Roka Rough House uh, with Josh Abraham. Josh, how are you doing today, man? Yeah, I sound good, you? I'm good, mate. I'm yeah, good, mate. yeah. So, always a good feeling coming to the Northeast. You know, I was in Newcastle yesterday for the uh, Octagon MMA press conference, yeah. and uh, in Sunderland, there's a it's a genuine feel, I think, here and in Newcastle. So. It's the best place on the earth, isn't it, the North East? Yeah, apart from Manchester, mm. but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mum lives near Manchester, actually, so it's all right. Let's see, shout I out. I agree to, with you on that. Shout out to her. Um, obviously, you're a pro, pro fighter. Yeah. Um, you're a coach here at Roka um, Ruff House as well. Mm -hmm. um, record 74. Yeah. Uh, fighting at lightweight at the moment in time, is it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Fluctuate between no, weights. Never, no, I'm never going to 65. You know, no? I like food too much to go back to 65. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was too hard for me. That yeah, like, I was young as well. Do you know what I mean? It was just not worth it. Dudes, fair dudes. We get that sometimes. You need a bit more experience to know yeah. what's, where you're going to be the best and the most confident as well. So it's cut a lot of weight. You know, outside of fight camp, I, I get fat. Me, yeah, I eat loads. <laughs> you do a bit of paddy. Yeah. Paddy. yeah. <laughs> I think on my last fight camp, I started my fight camp at 96 kilo. You know what I mean? I've been on like three holidays, I come back, I was 96 kilo. You know what I mean? Uh, dude, I always, I was fascinated at how weight can fluctuate like that. Like, for me, my weight doesn't never fluctuate that much, but I think... Spend a week eating what I eat. <laughs> <laughs> I swear though. Nice. Like it. You're obviously a, a student of the, or student of martial arts, really. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're a black belt kickboxing. Mm-hmm. And a brown belt, jujitsu. Yeah, yeah. Come on, nice. how did that all start? Uh, I got bullied as a kid. You know, what I mean? yeah, yeah. I got bullied as a kid. I, um, I was like a part little, like weird little kid. You know, I was like really to myself, kept myself to myself, and then mm. just got bullied loads. Uh, and then my dad was like, my dad played rugby for like England, wanted me oh, to wow. like go play rugby, but I was terrible. At it, you know, uh, yeah. I think I played like three games, and then I was like, I can't do this. I was like, I'm really bad. So I tried fighting. I um, I always like did it like the typical like put my kid like my dad put me in karate when I was like six. Nice. Uh, I got kicked out for looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I did. You know, I, uh, I, I did. Uh, I used to. My mum used to gel my hair before karate, so I'd go and I'd just sit like this in the mirror. Um, and then they told my mum I wasn't allowed to come back, so I didn't take it serious. No way. Um, and then brilliant. start boxing when I was boxing like kickboxing when I was like nine. Mm. I had my first fight when I was twelve. And I just. Just kept chipping away, don't I mean? It's the only thing I'm really good at. Yeah. I'm terrible at anything else. <laughs> More at Call of Duty though, if anyone wants a game. God, it's been it's been a while, you know, it's been a while, but I can dust off the old PS5 controller. Come on, boys. <laughs> uh you do you do over at Alliance? Yeah, yeah, with Chris Short. Nice, yeah. nice. How do you manage your time between there and here? Uh fight camps I usually go Alliance on the morning. Okay. So I usually do the I don't do any of the nighttime classes. I've got I do Monday morning there, Tuesday morning there, and Thursday morning there. Okay. Um, I do like a private with Chris on the Tuesday morning, the Monday to Thursday, both comp classes, nice. and then I just do my night times here, coaching or training, whichever one. Decent. And do you coach jiu jitsu over there as well? Is there? No, or is it just no. You go there yeah, yeah just working. Do my, do me and like we've got a jiu jitsu coach here, Trev. Mm. Um, he coaches our night times, but okay. I do all my mornings and like my jiu jitsu with Chris because just worked with him for longer. Do you know what I mean? He, yeah. He understands like he, he does more MMA than Trev just does jiu jitsu and the gi. Chris does. No gi gi and a bit like MMA, do you know what I mean? Okay. So I do more with Chris than I do with anyone else jujitsu. Nice. And is it with gi that well gi that you prefer? Is it or no, no, uh, definitely no gi. No you know, gi. Yeah. yeah. Like playing on the feet and footlocks, you can't do none of that in the gi. That's just boring, isn't it? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's, true. it's not representative of what's going to be in an actual uh, MMA fight anyway. It's hard. I like I, I train in my gi the whole fight camp. Um, oh, okay. Except from the last like two weeks, I'll stop wearing the gi. Yeah, and then just get used to doing a bit more nogi. But even during fight camp, I'll train in the gi. Come on. I like to compete in the gi. Nice. I don't know why I get knocked in jiu-jitsu comps all the time. Do you, <laughs> do you still compete in them to like nowadays as well? Or? I think I just compete in them because then, like, if I compete in them and I like, I blag my students to do it. Yeah. And if I don't do it myself, I just you know. I mean, I think that's terrible coaching, like from my point of view. So mm. I'll do them myself just to say, like, look, 
if I'm doing them, you's, you's are doing them, do you know what I mean? So lead by example. Yeah. yeah. From, but no fair dues, you're, you're obviously on a, a one back win streak. You, you came back last March, wasn't it? Yeah. You had a bit of time off. Um, four years. Four years off. Yeah. Fair dues. What, what was the reason for that, if you don't mind me asking? No reason. Mm. Uh, my, my wrestling was wrestling the year two or shit. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Every if you look at all my fights in the past, I got blasted with takedowns. Um, <laughs> and then like I'm for my head coach was like, you need to learn to wrestle. And I was like, no, nah, no, nah. like, fuck, fuck wrestling. <laughs> I don't mean I didn't, I didn't like it. Yeah. Um, and then like for that four years off, where I concentrated on wrestling jiu jitsu, realized like how important it was and how terrible I was at it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so just spent four years doing just doing that. Uh, Jits com super fights and coaching, trying to get like a team around me of like good fighters to a good level that we, we can train together and like I can have competitive rounds with them they like yeah. they can excel and it was just good for me to be able to spend time with my fighters and not cons I'm selfish when I'm in fight camp I only care about me and what, what I need to do um, it's a level of that that you need to be no? yeah yeah it's horrible just, just got to be done though, yeah, that's, what I mean. that's true and um, in terms of obviously your, your fight back in March you're supposed to have another fight in was it November did that get cancelled that yeah one? yeah the lad pulled out didn't he okay I think he broke his hand or done something to his hand or just pulled out yeah he didn't want to fight one of the two I'm sure he did they said he injured his hand or something that is, that is what it is you know what I mean never fight if you're not a hundred percent it's not it's not worth it yeah no fair dues and you re-sign now with cage warriors as well yeah you five fights come on come yeah, on I know. this year gonna be more active is that the whole I think yeah I think I'm gonna try and fight me Try and get two fights this year. Um, yeah. May and then like the back end of the year. Depends what happens in May if I, I might get injured in May. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You know, I'd, I'd just like take it one fight at a time. I used to like try and f book fights in advance and do this, do that. But yeah. you can never tell with injuries, can you? Do you know what I mean? So see what happens in May. i definitely fight in May in Newcastle. Though. Decent. Fair do same card as obviously Kennedy as well. Yeah. 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 The buzz in Newcastle for Northeast fighters. Is yeah. it unlike anything else, I guess? Yeah, it's meant to be. Yeah. The passionate aren't there. Um, it's true. Don't know why. It's like violence in the northeast, isn't it? <laughs> it's in the jeans, you know. Yeah, it's in the jeans, up and ready. Um, obviously, yeah, you did. You, you had a stint in cage warriors before. Obviously, it wasn't as successful as, as you wanted it to. And oh, well, shit, I, I, I saw some interviews where you said, yeah, you did blame your, you know, your wrestling for yeah, it. You said yeah. that nowadays, you know, you're, you're, you're embracing that wrestling. You're getting yeah. better at it. You're choosing to do it. 100%. What What's this stint in cage warriors going to look like for you? Like what you're planning this year? <laughs> Hopefully not as shit as the last one. Now you know, like I said, I just take it fight by fight. Me, what like whatever happens, happens. Mm. Um, I always say this to my students, and I believe it myself. It's a fight. Like I could be winning three rounds, and with two seconds left, I could get knocked out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I could get submitted. It's a fight. Mm. Um, you've just got to be prepared for everything. So yeah, I, I think like taking a time off coaching's made us a better fighter because. What I bring to my fighters, like if I follow it myself, it works. You know what I mean? We've had a good, successful run with our amateurs and pros lately. That come on, if we can follow this myself and do it myself, nice. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> crossed, I won't get chinned. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. I think the, the fights that you had that you did like, you did lose. There were decisions, you know. There yeah. weren't, you weren't getting, you weren't getting, they weren't getting submitted really, truly. Like no. so. And, and obviously, with your, your high level of jujitsu, like, you're comfortable off your back and, and fighting off your back, or do you yeah. still want to be on the feet? I, oh, I'd much prefer to have a fight. Like, if, do you know? Because I think mm. people pay a lot of money to come and watch. Like, if you want to watch people roll about on the floor, go to jujitsu comp. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I would rather put a good entertainment. Like, even on my back, I'm going to try and throw elbows. I'm going to try and strike you. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to. I want to put boring fights. On. I want to put fights on that people come and watch and think. Even if I lose, you know what I mean? As long as it's entertaining, we've had a good fight. Yeah. That's all that matters, you know what I mean? Fair dues. It's a different take on it, to be honest, because I sometimes I get annoyed when I go to fights and people are booing because they're, they're on the ground. And yeah, yeah. There's, a lot of, there's a lot of technique, you know, there's a lot of skill that goes into it. And I, I, I like that sort of yeah. thing. But I also like fights like yourself who are <laughs> putting on their show. And I understand, like, there, there's some people that may never take to stand up as good as others, but the mm. tremendous wrestlers and jiu-jitsu people, they do well in MMA in that sense. Yeah. But I know I can fight stand up, so if I can have a stand up fight, I'd much rather, do you know what I mean? Exactly, exactly. Um, is there any specific fighters on the Cage Warriors roster that you're looking at and think uh, lightweight and you're looking I'd like a piece of that person? Nah, I'm not asking me how to fight anyone, you know what I mean? Yeah. What's the last I'm going to lose. That's yeah. what it is. Fight to fight. Um, I'd fight like Kennedy Freeman, me. <laughs> chin <-er. laughs> Yeah, chin. Yeah. Nah, nah, like I'm not asking me, I'll just. 
my like I'm just man like my manager just says this is the this is who you're fighting. I've watched him, he's a good fight for you. But I just get to training, you know what I mean? Leave my coaches to do the work, I just turn up every day. Yeah. That's do, that's it really for me. Do you watch a lot of tape on fighters or just what they bring to the table? Um I usually watch like the first week of fight camp with my coaches and then we like pick stuff up and then the rest of the fight camp they'll study them and they'll bring like I, I trust all my coaches and everyone I work with to to do what like what they need to do. So like the last guy I was meant to fight, Ross, uh, Rosco and Gaz, were two of the lads I did my main sparring with. Mm. They watched and studied him, sparred similar to him. Chris watched his ground game, studied his ground game and studied nice. him that way. Um so I was like I think I was like probably the most prepared I've ever been for a fight camp, you know? Come on. Um and then I didn't fight. <laughs> winner, winner. It happens, doesn't it? Sometimes. It and a six pack, you know what I mean? That's a win. <laughs> That's always one win. <laughs> it wasn't fat Josh, I was skinny Josh. <laughs> you booked holiday straight out of that. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Um, obviously, you do a lot of coaching. You coach um, different weight cl- um, different weight classes, different age classes yeah, as yeah. well. Um, what's it like coaching like the younger kids? And would, do you prefer coaching like the younger generation than? Obviously, experienced fighters like Kennedy yourself. I much prefer coaching experienced fighters, but being honest, like, yeah. uh, you know, some days I teach all day, one at ones, and then it comes to my kids' class on the night time and they come in and they're full of energy, they're full of hell, and I'm like, oh, that's not what I need in my life right now. <laughs> Uh, but they're all good kids, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. I've had some of them from being like six year old to 14, like oh, they've been nice. here years now, um, and I've had some of them just starting, but it's good. Like, it, it's all like, some of them i think just come to just run around and ruin me dear uh some of them come to be serious you know mm-hmm. um but i just like it mate like i i'm not one that ever pushes kids to do competitions or anything like because they're kids you know, like kids are kids kids should be kids yeah like they should just come enjoy themselves like if they want to compete they can compete if they just want to come and have fun it's coming up fun you know what i mean it is what it is but for my adults and like my seniors i'll always take it serious with them because they actually want to compete this is what they want to do for a living yeah and like i feel respect i hate it if my fighter goes and loses i take them like i take it more to heart than they do normally they're just not asked and i'm good yeah <laughs> do you know what i mean but it's just one of them things i do who's you, your favorite fighter to coach not you <laughs> <laughs> um, you know i think probably like without sound horrible mm. um kennedy because she's pro and we have like a good understanding of the way we work uh mm. jor and james and tommy hunter they're my amateurs but they're like probably the most active amateurs but tommy's like quite fresh but he's like willing to learn loads mm. um jor is like my right hand man he coaches the kids class with me he's like my main sparring partner and james is the same but he doesn't coach my kids class because he's a tire fair <laughs> that dude, that dude. Man, useless <laughs> Um, in, in terms of like, again, going back to your coaching and, and whatnot, I know you did some kickboxing as well. Do you yeah. coach kickboxing at all? Or is it? Yeah. You coach kickboxing? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, do you still do any kickboxing professional fights or, cause I know you did one 2022, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, hybrid rules with the little four arms gloves it was. Yeah. Uh, no, I just did that to just to get myself back into it really. Mm. I thought like instead I didn't I don't think I was fully ready to go back to MMA then but I was ready to fight you know what I mean so it was okay. either I was going to have a boxing fight or I was going to do that mm. um my my coach and his brother owns a boxing gym okay so I was going to go pro boxing and do a couple of boxing fights with him oh nice and then I think I did like a couple of pad sessions and thought I can't kick people this is <laughs> boring you know what I mean um and then I did my kickboxing fight and didn't throw one kick <laughs> so win-win should have just done boxing shouldn't I <laughs> Hey, you, you prepare and you train for yeah. all circumstances, but sometimes, you know, it just it happens how it happens, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? It's just a fight. It is. Who's, who's Josh outside the cage? Like, what do you get up to? Are you a footballing man? What do you like to <sighs> do? No? No, yeah, no. no. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate football, if I'm being honest, you know. <laughs> There's a match on a day, it's just chewy. Like, you hear the fans outside a minute ago shouting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like fully grown men shouting at people running about after a ball. It's not for me, like. Yeah, uh, honestly, outside I'm in here all day. I go home. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've got a little boy; he's like four month old. Oh, nice. uh, I got one that's seven as well. Uh, I nice. just if I don't like my little boy, my youngest lives with me, so it's mm-hmm. normally get in, spend some time with him and the mom, go to bed, and then play Call of Duty as soon as they go to bed, <laughs> and then just play on Call of Duty all night. Get up the next morning, do the same. Live a proper simple life, you know. Yeah. As long as I'm in here, I'm happy. If I'm not in here, it's not for me. Like, I play. No, no, I like it. Um, 
do a, a different little snippet, this or that, just give you two options. You just pick yeah, which one you prefer. On is that all right? Do you what you prefer, kickboxing or jiu jitsu? Can I 50 50? <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> I want to say jiu jitsu at the moment, you know, because yes, I've done kickboxing for that long. Jiu jitsu is, I'm enjoying jiu jitsu more at the moment, yeah. Yeah, Xbox, PS5. PS5. PS5, nice. What do you prefer, Sunderland or Newcastle? Bit of an easy one, some for you, I guess. I want to say Sunderland, but I'm actually a Middlesbrough fan, you know. Really? Yeah, yeah, my dad's from Middlesbrough, so ah, I'm actually okay. a Middlesbrough fan, but I'll represent Sunderland because I do all my work here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Have you grown up in Sunderland as well? Or, or... Oh, no. I've, I was born in York. Seriously? Yeah, ah, yeah. my dad okay. was in the army, so ah, I was okay. born, I was born yeah, and I just travelled around, and then I settled here. I think I moved here when I was 15, and right. I've been here since. Decent, decent. Um, what do you prefer, winning a fight yourself or watching? One of your fighters win a fight. Watching one of my fighters win a fight. Hundred percent. Nice, like that. Um, music tastes. What do you prefer? Like rap, R and B, pop, rock. Rave. Rave. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Rave or country music? It's weird, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> it's an extreme. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some days I wake up, I want to listen to country music. Majority, it's just rave, you know. Yeah. Um, and there's different types of rave. What we're talking drum and bass, dubstep, or like. North East Makina music. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, right. you That's listen to North East Makina. I've not know, but I, I know, I know, I know what you're on about. Listen, real music, innit? <laughs> you know, I'm over a drum and bass guy myself, but I could, yeah. No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> North East Makina, get on that. <laughs> oh, I like it. Um, what's the biggest thing to come out of the North East? I've asked Kennedy the same question. Alan Shearer, Gaza, Anton Deck, Jordan Henderson, Brian Johnson, or David Grant. David Grant. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Right. Fuck them footballers. <laughs> Fuck them guys. Like, what's your, what's your, your, cheat, your cheat meal after a fight? What isn't me cheat meal <laughs> after me fight? Um, Donna kebab wrap with chips, cheese and garlic. Aye. That's elite, isn't it? <laughs> that is elite, I like that. Usually with a pizza as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. Right, lightweight makes sense now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it makes you know sense. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't ask any of this before, but she said that obviously you've known each other for a long time. Did yeah, you do yeah, that yes. in the gym or did you go to school together or whatnot? Like, was... Through fighting. Through fighting, yeah. 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 I'm definitely going to a better school than her. Like far, <laughs> far more intelligent. <laughs> oh, I love it. Didn't oh. even know there were schools in Stanley until about a week ago. <laughs> Oh, come on. Um, obviously, yeah, yeah, you said you want to get on the card in, in May. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, K-Draw is there. Um, looking for sponsors still at the moment in time? Yeah, yeah. I've, uh, I'm always open to them. I, I like. I tend to stick with the same ones that, okay. like, that have supported me for, for years. Um, but I'm always open to new ones and people. So if you want to sponsor me, yeah. give us a shout, kid. Getting shot, yeah. Instagram. Yeah, Josh Abraham. I think... <laughs> think so um i don't really use facebook like i've got like a thousand friend requests to go through and i just ignore them all the time so if i'm ignorant to you on facebook apologies in advance right and the last question for myself i've, I've called it roca rough house but what's the correct northeast pronunciation of it no i got it it's kind of good it just sounds yeah. a little bit posh from you saying it to us the wow. roca wow. Uh, rough house wow right yeah. i hope i'm not losing my manchester accent you, <laughs> no, posh, no. you know but <laughs> <laughs> Sounds well spoken compared to Sunderland, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, that broad Macam accent, you know. No, I, mine's isn't even that bad, you know, mine's is all right. Yeah. Uh, some people's terrible. That's it, I think you're walking subtitles. Yeah, yeah, around, literally. No, well, Josh, I appreciate your time. Nah, Thanks for letting so, me come down. Cheers, mate. Thank you. All the best, brother. You too. Mate. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. On the fence. I'm on the fence. We don't need so far. We would. We, 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 we,